It's never been easier to reach directly out to your customers and advertise and promote your business, but it can get overwhelming with so many different options. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a simple framework for how to advertise your small business. Hey there, my friend. My name is Hugo Fernandez, CEO of Just Digital Link and author of the Client Acquisition Blueprint. If it's your first time visiting the channel, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this video and make sure you subscribe for more small business advertising and marketing strategies. So let's jump into the video. How do you advertise a small business? When I think about promoting a business or advertising a business, there's really two categories of uh, different platforms, different things that you can do to get the word out there about your business, okay? So the two different categories are paid and organic. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about each category and tell you the different options which in each of those. So paid and organic, the first one is paid. Paid means anything you have to pay to play, such as Facebook ads, Google ads, if you're doing any other social media advertising, such as LinkedIn ads, Pinterest ads, and so forth. Anything you have to pay every time you get something, get, get something in return, whether it's traffic or impressions or views, those are the, those, that's what I put under paid advertising, right? And for a small business, there's really kind of two, two main key players where you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. The first one is Facebook ads. The second one is Google ads. Now there's some nuances there. I put together a whole separate video on Facebook ads versus Google ads that you can click on the link in the description to see that particular video. But Facebook ads and Google ads are the two kings in promotion and advertising for your small business. You can create an account and set up your advertising so that when people are searching for your products or your services or um, on scrolling through their newsfeed, you can then show up and they can click on your ad, go over to your website, either fill out a contact form and, and if you're offering a service, you'll reach out to them or if you're an e-commerce platform, you can uh, sell your products that way, right? So that's the first category is paid advertising. The second category is organic. Now organic requires a lot of more time and energy and effort and creativity, right? But organic is really anything you don't have to pay to get the result, right? So such as social media uh, marketing, whether you're creating content, creating videos like this, putting them on YouTube, it obviously costs time, energy, and resources, but I don't have to pay anything to put this video on YouTube, right? I just shoot the video and I upload it to YouTube and that's it. There's costs associated with you know, having a camera and team and editor and all this other stuff, but it doesn't cost me anything to put it on YouTube. Same thing, I could grab this video, put it on Facebook, put it on LinkedIn, put it on Instagram, put a, smart, a shorter version on Instagram. That's uh, an organic method. There's also obviously social media marketing, which is posting on Facebook, posting on Twitter, posting on Instagram, and that just requires energy and creativity. What am I gonna talk about today? Who is my ideal audience? What message am I trying to convey to my audience? And there's different strategies for creating good social media content, good social media marketing. But if you take anything from this video, you should take that. It has to be relevant to your audience and valuable to your, to your audience, and it has to capture their attention. So it has to be somewhat entertaining or super, super valuable that people wanna consume your content. Right? Another method of promoting your business or advertising your small business organically is through uh, SEO and blog content. So putting up on your website, putting a blog to that, and having content that people are searching for and doing search engine optimization. The final little thing that I would suggest you do in terms of organic advertising or organic uh, marketing is requesting reviews from your customers. If you don't have a Yelp page or Google My Business page, you're missing out. So go to uh, Google uh, go, go to google.com forward slash business and set up a free business profile. Go to Yelp, set up a Yelp business profile. Even if you have an e-commerce store, set that up because you'll get free exposure, free traffic, and free links back to your website. And then you can request uh, reviews from your customers, from your vendors, from people who are you're doing business with. That's gonna help you show up in search results. So to wrap all this up, you can either pay to play or you can get creative and do organic advertising. But those are the two methods to advertise your small business. Hey 
Hey there, it's Hugo, and if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. What are you doing to advertise and promote your small business? How do you make your advertising dollars work for you? Let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe so that you get other awesome videos. I also put together a checklist for you on seven secrets to get more leads from your online marketing and from your website. There's a link in the description, also a link on this video. Click the link to get the seven secrets to more leads.